In this lesson, we're going to run through setting up some email templates. Email templates, much like many of the templates in Sprout, are super useful for doing the work once and then being able to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it without having to redo the work every single time. So in the case of an email template, you write the email once, you use what we call variables in Sprout, which is kind of just a fancy word for saying you put sort of a placeholder bit of text in there. So that way, when you write the email template, there's a placeholder text. But then when you use it with a client, it replaces that placeholder text with the appropriate information for that client. So for example, you might have a placeholder text or variable called client first name. And when you're writing the email template, you'll put dear client first name and then write your email. But then when you use that email template with a client, with a lead or with a shoot, it will replace that variable with the client's actual name. So it'll say instead of dear client first name, it'll say dear Jane, for example. So let's go ahead and hop in and set up some email templates. I've got Sprout just open here to the main part of Sprout and I'm going to click the settings button in the bottom left corner to go into communication and then email templates. This is where we're going to build and organize all of our email templates. Now by default, you will have the same default emails that we have here. These are all emails that we copy into your account when your account was first created that are your default emails for the various things in Sprout. So for example, when you first go to send an email uh, or an email form from a booking proposal, it will choose this email. We've pre-written this for you. Of course, you're welcome to customize it and tweak it, but the email is already there and it's already set up. And for all of your default emails, you can click the email defaults section here and specify what email gets used for the various different actions within Sprout Studio. And again, as you can see, we've already set all of this up for you, but of course you're welcome to customize that. I'm going to go back into the email templates section here. And one of the things I'm gonna do right off the bat here, because I love to do this, and this is a great feature of how you can help to stay organized here, is I'm gonna create some groupings here just to kind of make some more sense of our groupings here. And you can do this with any of the sections within the settings of Sprout Studio and it's called grouped templates. So I'm gonna add a new group and I'm gonna click add new. I'm going to call this default emails. I'm going to give it a color just like that. And there we go. And now it'll add it to that group. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add every one of these to that group. And that way, as we go ahead and as we make more, maybe we're gonna make a bunch of emails for weddings. We're gonna make emails for portrait and emails for boudoir and so on and so forth. As we do all of that, we can add those to the appropriate category so that this page doesn't get too cluttered and can stay nice and organized. There we go. And I'm actually just gonna minimize that just to hide that by default. And it kind of cleans up the email template page a little bit, doesn't it? So from there, let's now click the plus button and let's click new email template. Let's kind of walk through all of this here. So up here, this is just the name of the email template. So you have it for your own internal purposes. Your clients will never see this. The subject line here is obviously the subject of the email that your clients will see. And then this is where you write the actual email itself. Now you can also add files and attachments to email templates if you need to. And otherwise that's pretty much it here for email templates. So let's go ahead and set up a a uh, sample email template for a wedding inquiry. So someone gets in touch with you and you're going to reply with an email for whether you are or aren't available for that date. So let's just call this wedding inquiry. And we're gonna say, thank you for your wedding inquiry. So this is where again, you would normally type something like, hi Jane, thank you so much getting in touch I should fix the spelling on that one there we go so that's how you would type a normal email but what we're going to do here is because this is a template we don't want the client's name in here and we don't want the date in here, obviously. And we don't want maybe even my name in here because 
This might be used by multiple photographers and multiple users in your account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just delete that and we're going to use the variables. So you see this little add variable button here. I'm gonna click that and this now opens up this nice little section that allows you to choose what kind of variable you would like to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click shoot variables and there's a whole bunch of different variables that you can use in here. Uh, and you can see there's shoot name, there's shoot date, shoot type, booking date. There's a whole bunch of variables in here. Same with client, there's client name, client first name, last name, company, email, phone, address, so on and so forth. So if I want to address the client by their name, again, instead of typing, hi, Jane, I can just get rid of Jane and I can do client and say client first name. And there's that little sort of token, that little variable that we talked about earlier that when you write this template, it may not look exactly clear in here, but when you use this template, it will be used and that variable will be replaced with your client's first name. I'm gonna do the same thing here for the date. I'm gonna get rid of the date there and I'm gonna click add variable. I'm going to click shoot and I'm going to do the start date. There we go. And I'm happy to say I'm available, thanks so much. And then instead of here, instead of my name, I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna go variable. I'm going to say user and I'm gonna say primary user first name. So primary user is the primary person on that shoot. So if I'm the user on that, it would be my name. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And so there we go. That is how we set up an email template here in Sprout. Now this is just a plain email template. As you can see here, there's this plain button up here. This is as if you had opened up Google Mail and you had typed an email to the client and that was it. If you want to pretty up your emails a little bit, you can click the pretty email template here. This is now where you have a little bit more control over the design. This is where we use that cover or that um, email header photo that we set up earlier on the brand. You can set up a heading right here, your wedding, and then you can specify all the contents of the email down there. And you also have a little bit more control over whether you want it to be a light or a dark one. And if you want to use a sans serif or a serif for your font. So a little bit more control. And then of course you can actually also automatically choose an email header. You can upload your own email header just for this one. You can use the brand email header or just a simple brand bar like that. So you have a lot of control over how you have this set up, but that's how you set up pretty emails or plain emails here in Sprout. And then again, once you use this email template by clicking this button right here in the actual email itself, when you're sending it to your client, then it'll replace all those variables with the appropriate values for that client. We're gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. I'm gonna do what I had suggested doing right out of the gate and I'm going to say Add New. We're gonna call this Wedding for Categories. I'm gonna choose a pretty color for weddings. Something like that, go Add. And there we go. And that's how you set up email templates in Sprout Studio.